we will plot the pressure as a function of the axial distance along the center line as well as along the pipe wall. So if I go to 3D viewer, I need to plot the pressure along this line and along that line. And so first I need to create quote-unquote locations corresponding to those lines. So I'll do location, line. Let me first um, create the center line and that will go from 0, 0 to 8, 0. Okay, and here I see that that uh, center line uh, is indeed what I want to create. And then I also need to create a line long pipe wall. And since I'm lazy, I'll just duplicate this. So I'll right click on center line and you should see that under user locations and plots and select duplicate. Okay, and I will call this location pipe wall. And I'm still entering details of center line, so I need to double click on pipe wall here under user locations and plots to enter details of pipe wall. And so the these locations uh, don't change, the x-coordinate. Um, this coordinate changes because now it's at a height equal to the radius. Okay, and so you can see pipe wall has been created and that corresponds to the um, the right line in the wireframe. Okay, so now we have the location. So let's create the the chart. So I will go to insert chart icon and I will call this pressure variation um, Actually, let me call this axial pressure variation. And it turns out I just can't call this pressure because that's an internally reserved name. So you have to be careful about what you call these. Um, and so I'm going to enter details of axial pressure variation. If I go into the data series tab and under location, first let me plot along the center line okay so this will so my plot you know will be um, along the center line so <clears throat> and so x-axis here I select what I wanted to plot along here and I wanted to plot um, the axial distance which is x and if I go to the y-axis tab, I specify what I want to plot over here, and there I want pressure, so nothing to change over there. And I'll click Apply. So I see the pressure variation along the center line, and it looks linear for the most part, which is what one expects from fully developed flow. Um, and here there's a slight deviation from that where the flow is developing and here again you would get smoother plots if uh, one went uh, to a finer mesh and in fact one needs to do that. Now I also want to add the variation along the wall to this plot so I will go back to data series and I will say add a new data series. So that's how you add another line to your plot or another curve to your plot. And I will leave the default name and for location I will select pipe wall. Okay and it retains the you know your previous selections for this for what to plot along here and here so I don't need to change that either under the x-axis tab or the y-axis tab. So I'll just click on apply and 
I can go in and you know put in appropriate names for these. So this would be center line, this would be pipe wall. And you can see that there's not much variation um, between the two lines, which means that the pressure at the wall and the pressure at the center line are the same. So there's no variation in the pressure in the radial direction, which is what we expect. And then you can, of course, export this to a CSV file and do further processing in Excel.